Tonight, the two front runners to be Virginia's next governor debated for the first time. Democrat Terry McAuliffe and Republican Glenn Youngkin met in Grundy for the statewide televised event. Ten News reporter Shane Dwyer is here now with the takeaways and analysis from our 10 News political expert, Shane. Brittany, this should have been the third debate between the two, but some early drama in the debate season meant that this finally was the first time that the two major candidates would meet head on, like you said, in Grundy. Now, the moderators asked a number of questions across the hour-long debate. There were two topics that continued to rise to the top. The Appalachian School of Law played host to gubernatorial candidates Glenn Youngkin and Terry McAuliffe deep in the heart of Virginia's coal country Thursday night. Moderators started by asking about COVID vaccines, a topic the candidates continued coming back to the entire night. Uh, I have been a strong, strong advocate for everyone to get the vaccine. I do believe that individuals should be allowed to make that decision on their own. I am for mandating vaccinations for people who teach our children in school, for children who go in higher ed, hospitals, nursing homes, Mr. I want you vaccinated. Your time is the other topic they both kept coming back to was the economy, both saying their policies across the board will help Virginians prosper. And if we allow this Texas law, I can tell you this, Amazon, Google, Facebook. Thank you. It's dangerous for a woman's life, but it also is crippling to the Virginia economy. Thank my plan, in fact, recognizes that our economy stalled under his leadership. The states around us have blown by us. We need to bring down the cost of living because the liberals in Richmond have been overtaxing Virginians. This debate was the first of the election. Youngkin didn't accept the traditional first debate, and McAuliffe said no to the second. Our 10 News political expert Ed Lynch says as the race narrows, he was impressed with Youngkin's first large-scale debate. Uh, but I thought he held his own. He gave some snark back, and uh, uh, definitely uh, if, if, if the race is tied going into the debate, it was still tied coming out of the debate. But both candidates did agree on one thing. As many in the country still question election integrity, both men say they stand behind Virginia's elections and will respect the outcome when it's certified by the state. Now, early voting is just right around the corner, and both parties have agreed to another debate. They'll meet in two weeks at George Mason University. Live in the newsroom, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.